Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be learning about how to add and subtract negative decimals. If you've learned how to add and subtract decimals, and you remember those rules, and you've learned how to add and subtract integers, this is going to be a piece of cake. It's just a matter of tying both sets of rules together and putting it all into one, uh, one new rule, one new uh, system. So let's go ahead and get started from the very beginning. Let's say if I have a number like negative 3 and 45 hundredths plus negative 2 and 3 tenths. Well, the first thing we got to do is we have to remember when we're adding decimals and subtracting decimals, we always want to line up the decimals. So we're going to do uh, 3 and 45 hundredths plus 2 and 3 tenths add the 0. Now, the reason we can add these is because since we have two negative numbers, it's the exact same thing as adding two positive numbers except for they're negative. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's get in the habit of estimating first. I probably should have done that to begin with, but you know what, we can do it for the rest of the problems. Uh, negative 3 and 45 hundredths is the same thing as negative 3 as an estimate. Very close. Plus, negative 2 and 3 tenths can be estimated as negative 2. Now if I wanted to solve that, I know that if you add, well, let's just move this over here. If I have negative 3 plus negative 2, I know that's the same thing as doing 3 negatives plus 2 negatives. Gives me a grand total of 5 negatives. So I know if I'm adding two numbers with the exact same sign, I can just add them together and keep the sign. And that's all I have to do here. So I'm going to go ahead and add 5 plus 0 and get 5. 4 plus 3 and get 7 bring down my decimal. 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 is 5. And since uh, I have negatives I'm dealing with, it's going to be negative 5 and 75 hundredths, which is just very close to our estimate. That's all you have to do. So when you're dealing with two negatives or two positives and you're adding, very, very simple. Now, what happens if we have um, a problem where we have negative 6 and 5 hundredths plus 4 and 82 hundredths. Now I have a problem where I have one negative and one positive and it's addition. Well, it's best if we um, first estimate. We have a negative 6 plus, I make that a, a positive 5. Now to solve this problem, if you remember, let's, let's go ahead and just model it one more time. If I have negative 6 plus 5 that's like having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 negatives, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 positives. And we know that we can, uh, for every positive, we can cancel out with a negative, right? So all of these cancel out, and I'm left with one negative. So my answer here will be negative 1. Now, it would be very uh, difficult to, every time, put a, a set of pluses and minuses. So what we learn is we can find the difference of their absolutes and then assign the uh, negative or positive sign of the bigger absolute value. So the absolute value of s negative 6 is 6. The absolute value of 5 is 5. So we're going to subtract these two and get 1. And since the negative 6 is the bigger absolute, it's a negative 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our example here and model our decimals after our, our integer problem to the right. So I'm going to have 6.05 and I'm going to subtract the 4.82 and I'm going to solve. So 5 minus 2 is 3. I'll make this into a 5, this into a 10. 10 minus 8 is 2. This becomes a decimal. 5 minus 4 is 1. And since uh, the negative 6.05 is the bigger number, uh, and it's negative, I'm going to make this negative. And I look very close to my original estimate. Therefore, we have a great answer. That's all you do. I want you to walk away from these first two problems and understand that it is easy to add integers. Say it with me easy to add integers because we're going to get to subtracting integers now and those who well 
subtracting negative decimals in this case. But those who don't change this to addition, you may find yourselves making mistakes. I strongly suggest you do it just how I show it. But you can do what you like. It's, it's perfectly fine with me. Let's go ahead and start off with uh, 7 and 2 tenths minus 9 and 4 tenths. Let's keep this very easy. Now, what I would suggest doing is making using our LCO and leave change opposite. I now have 7 and 2 tenths plus negative 4.9. Hey, that is exactly the type of problem we were dealing with before. So this is going to be a piece of cake. So I'm going to go ahead and change the 7 and 2 tenths to a 7. I'm going to make it plus negative 9. And I know that I can do 9 minus 7 gets me 2. And since the 9 is negative, this becomes negative. And I end up having negative 2 as my estimate. I'll do the same thing over here. Since the 9 is up top, I'm going to do the negative, I'm sorry, the 9 and 4 tenths minus 7 and 2 tenths. And I do 4 minus 2 is 2. 9 minus 7 is 2. And since negative 9 is my bigger uh, absolute value, and it's negative. This gets a negative, and looky, looky, it is just like our estimate. See, when you make it into addition, it is very, very simple. You just got to trust me. Got to do it every time. If you do what, uh, what I uh, authorize here, you will find success every single time. It's as simple as that. Let's do a couple more. What if I have uh, negative 5 and uh, 3 uh, three tenths minus um, 51 and uh, 42 hundredths. Well, at first glance, this may look difficult, but when I make my LCO and make this into leave change opposite, make it into negative 5.3 plus negative 51. Point uh, four two. All of a sudden, this is becoming a very easy problem. This is now negative five plus negative fifty one. There's my estimate. Since these are both the same, I would do five plus fifty one to solve this, and so I'm going to end up getting. Oh, nice. Didn't expect to see that, did you? I didn't either. That's all right. We're going to keep moving. I'm going to add these together. I'm going to get a one, and uh, this is ten. So I'm going to get uh, 100. What in the world did I just do? I am totally kidding. That's pretty funny. That thing threw me off. Let's try this again. How about uh, 51? I'm going to add 5 to this. Uh, since this is going to be two negatives we're adding together, we can add these together. I get a 6, and I get a 5. So my estimate is going to be a negative 56. Negative 56. So that's what I'm expecting from my uh, actual problem here. So I'm going to model it exactly how I modeled my uh, integer problem uh, to the right. So I'm going to go ahead and put the bigger one on top. I'm going to put uh, 51 and 42 hundredths minus 5 and 3 tenths at a 0. Remember, we have to line up our decimals when we're dealing with, uh, with adding and subtracting. I'm going to subtract. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm adding. I forgot. I'm adding now because we have two of the same values, or of the same signs, like signs. So I'm going to add these. I get a 2 and a 7. Bring down my decimal. I get a 6 and a 5. And since they're both negative, this must be negative. I look at the answer here. Look at my uh, um, estimate. And again, these are right on. So... Looks like we have a, a good answer. Let's do one more and we'll call it a night. Our final example. Final example. What if I have um, 18 and 3 tenths minus, actually, you know what? We'll do negative 18 and 3 tenths minus negative 22. Ooh, what do we do here? Well, I'm going to start off by uh, first doing my LCO. Leave, change, opposite. And now I have uh, negative 18 
plus uh, 22. All right, so I'm going to have a uh, two numbers that have different signs, therefore I need to subtract. I need to find their difference of their absolutes. I'm going to do 22 minus 18. I'm going to get uh, a 4. And this is going to be positive since it's the 22 is the bigger absolute. I'm going to go with the positive here. So let's go ahead and try this out. I have uh, 22 on top. You know what? The decimal should go right here, shouldn't it? 22 point, we'll just put a 0 here. Minus 18.3. I'm going to go ahead and subtract. I can't take 3 from 0. Borrow here. Make that a 1. This a 10. This makes this a 7. Bring down my decimal. Can't take 8 from 1. Make this into a 1 and this into 11. Makes that into a 3. And uh, since this is a uh, the positive, 22 is the bigger uh, absolute. This stays positive, which, hey, you know what? Very close to the 4. Our answer is 3.7. I hope this has made a lot of sense to you. I wish you uh, luck with your adding, subtracting decimals, negative decimals as well. Take care.